Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and for today's video, I'm gonna be landscaping Dobie's farm area. I was quite nervous about landscaping this area. I don't know why I've spent the week kind of stressing about it a little bit because I just felt like it was a lot of land to work with and I was just kind of worried that it ended up looking messy. But I'm actually quite happy with how the end results turned out. It's not 100% as I planned it in my head, but I think it's just as good. I just kind of planned to have like two separate areas up there one to have like the Aries rocking chair sheep in there to be like a little sheep field and one to have like the crops and things in but I didn't really have enough room for that so I ended up just having one area with like the crops in but I still think it turned out really cute. I never know what to say at the start of these videos people have been asking me to talk more in these because uh, people seem to be quite interested about my accent like I guess it's a very different accent to what people who aren't from the UK are used to. So I do kind of want to clear up what my accent is because I've been getting some comments lately where people think I'm either Irish or Scottish which is so funny to anybody who lives here in the UK because you'll know that I sound nothing like I'm Irish or Scottish but I do understand why people from America and things might confuse those accents because a lot of the media kind of just shows southern accents in England, they don't really show the northern accents. I'm actually from the north of England England from a place called Yorkshire and this is one of the many Yorkshire accents. There are a few different Yorkshire accents up here. They all sound kind of similar but they have like slight differences to them and I have one of those accents so I'm from the north of England so I'm English. I'm not Irish and I'm not Scottish. I'm English but I got a really funny comment of somebody asking whether I'd be watching Derry Girls because they thought I was Irish and then they replied saying wait a minute you're Scottish and then I replied like no I'm not either of those. I'm just English. I have a confusion using accent um but i thought i'd just clear that up because people have been asking i don't really know what else to say other than just explain what i'm doing in the video and that i'm making this farm area i find it so much easier just to kind of let the video do the explaining and then do a tour at the end to show you what the area looks like so if you do want to hear from me again you can skip to the end of the video and i'll be back to do a tour of this area but i'm just gonna let the video play now so do enjoy bye guys Mwah.
So I'm back and it's time to show you guys what the finished area looks like. This is actually the second time I've had to record this tour. For some reason the game audio decided it wanted to be really loud today. I've not changed my settings in my recording thing and it's just suddenly decided it wants to be loud. So that's fab. We love having to re-record things. But the area is complete now so I can head over there and show you guys what it's looking like. You might have seen as well I did make a few changes to this area whilst I was recording. I was just running back and forward through it so much and I got kind of frustrated with how messy it looks. It just felt overcrowded. It felt overcrowded when I made it. So I got rid of some of the, the honey QRs even though they were really cute. I just I decided that they weren't working for me so I got rid of those and just a few like planters and things. I think I got rid of the planters outside of recording actually but I just removed a few things from down here to make it look a little less overcrowded because it was a little bit crazy looking um, and I feel much better about it now but let's head up to Dobie's farm so here we are and here is the man of the hour himself here is our Dobie the first time I recorded this actually he was sat here and I literally spoke to him and as soon as I stopped talking to him he fell asleep like the little old man that he is which was the cutest thing ever so I'm so sad that I don't have that to show you guys anymore um but yeah this is the area where he lives he just has this pathway which leads up to his house and then it leads off to his farm oh he's sat on his little chair okay he made he made up for the fact that we didn't we didn't see him um snoozing he looks very cute sat in his little rocking Dobie! I was gonna get a normal one as well but I guess I guess we're not gonna do that but at least we've got one picture of him um but outside his house I do have this little rocking chair and this little kind of table of books because he's a little old man he can just sit here and read his books basically that's what I was thinking and then back here we just have his washing line with like his socks and things hanging out to dry I love these little washing lines by the villagers houses I just think they're so cute there was a lot more items that I planned to have up here as usual I was over enthusiastic and gathered way too many items couldn't use them all because it would have just looked crazy and overcrowded so there was a few things I wanted to use that I had to cut back on I'm kind of just getting crazy when gathering these items like look at my beach down there it's literally just full of stuff at this point it's most of it's just stuff I, I couldn't use when I was doing these videos so eventually I'm gonna have to do some kind of giveaway and let people just come take stuff because I have too many things at this point but I just have like the little silo and um, this little workbench which originally had the the well here but it just looked too big so I swapped it for this workbench and then just some kind of little farmy items around so like the the barrel and like the hand cart and things and then I guess we'll head into the actual farm area over here oh I should mention this tree actually so I didn't actually cut the tree down in the video if you watch the the actual building part you'll know that I had a regular tree here and then I decided I didn't want that anymore I wanted a cedar tree but I only had like the small trees so I had to let it grow I did time travel again as well I forgot to mention that I did time travel a couple of days to get things to grow in but I had to let the cedar tree grow so I cut it off camera so so you will have just seen a tiny little tree here but now it is this beautiful stump but we just have the little farmy area here so we have some uh, beach balls which are now watermelons my friend Amy sent me this watermelon beach ball to use so I'm super thankful for that and this noodle thing actually so my friend Ellie or Maya Brewster on tumblr um I'd actually posted in our a discord group that we have for a bunch of friends saying that I was a little stressed out about this area because I just I didn't have too many ideas for the farm yet so I asked for some inspiration and she was so sweet she sent me so many pictures of inspiration and on one of them somebody was using the these noodle things to like look like it was water in the crops. I'll try and find the the post that she sent me if I can find who posted it and put it on the screen so I can give some kind of credit to them but I'm not sure who it was I can't remember whether she just sent me like the picture or whether she sent me people's post but somebody was using this and I thought it was super clever so I decided to use it as well so I have two of those up here and we have the little sandy area back there with some fruit trees on. Originally I forgot that I needed sand to do that so I had to I ended up doing this video over two days again so on the second day I had the sand and I could add that in and we just have a little scarecrow and then I didn't want to fill this up with the mum cushions because I wanted to be able to still get through here so we just have a couple of mum cushions there and then this of course is a little greenhouse I don't know who 
came up with this idea originally I'd love to know so I can credit them so if somebody does know whose idea this was please tell me because I've just seen so many people do it at this point that I can't find the like the original creator of this it's basically just like a little greenhouse area and I have a watering can a seed bag some little fruit and then just plants and things about it's just very cute at first I had the dirt path in here but then when I placed the dirt path out here it all blended together and it was not working so I changed it to wood and then outside the greenhouse I have some boxes a little fertilizer bag this is by oh it's Rosabee this is by Rosabee and I love this design it's so cute it's just a little fertilizer bag which is perfect to have on a farm you'll see that I did include the Aries rocking chairs around as well so I have one back there and one over here they're just too cute I wanted to include and my friend Winnie sent me them originally from my old island and I just kind of wanted to look like there were little sheep grazing about up on the farm so we do still have them down here is just a little duck pond my island at this point is basically all duck ponds so of course there's a duck pond here there is another little duck further down which I can't get to but it's basically just there so you can see it from the level below so it's not looking really plain um this whole like area is basically for the level below because there's a pond that links onto it at the bottom and then I just have a few more farming items about another hand cart my friend Piri sent me the hand cart so thank you to her for sending me those um she sent me the green one and the brown one because they were the colors I didn't have and I really wanted to use them because they match with the theme of what I was using up here but that is basically the farm area I'm planning for tomorrow's video to do an update video on what the island's looking like at week four just so I can show you guys the progress that I've made both on and off camera and you can see how the island's looking like you can see the map at the moment but I'll give you like a more detailed look at it um, and I'm going to work on it some more today as well to make some more changes so I've got more to show you guys so that will be tomorrow's video um, as always guys please do give me any feedback on this area let me know what I can improve please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah. <laughs>